Hello, thank you for joining us today. This is Alex with Tech Avenger TV, and today we're continuing our series on launchers. Today we are going to be reviewing the BlackBerry launcher, and uh, that seems to be the theme. We've got companies like Asus, Microsoft, Google. Uh, these companies are producing their own Android launchers, and BlackBerry didn't want to be left behind, I guess, so... Uh, here it is. So let's see. It says it's a product, uh, productivity focused launcher with pop up widgets and shortcuts. Um, in this picture, it looks pretty much like the BlackBerry Priv, uh, very similar. Um, so let's see here. I'm just looking at some of the uh, specs. Uh, term multi -sum. Okay, well, anyway, let's just take a look at it and uh, see what's going on here. So uh, this one does not give you an icon to click on. So you end up with nothing there and then all what you have to do is go to your settings, applications, default applications, home screen, and you can see I'm on TouchWiz right now. I'm going to switch it to BlackBerry Launcher. So now we should be okay. We're in the BlackBerry launcher. Um, another thing I'm going to do is change the wallpaper. As you guys know, I always do that. Let's see here, we got. Let's go with the uh, BlackBerry Priv kind of look. Um, so here we go. So as you can see, it's got um, BlackBerry Hub services which when you click on that it actually takes you to a link to download and install it now uh, stay tuned for future videos because um, we're probably going to do an episode on the blackberry hub services um, so we'll cover that in another video um, at any rate it does have a link to that uh, on the home page um, let's go over here check data usage lock screen um, let's click on that so you can activate um, so uh, something you can do there there's uh, all these things I believe need to be downloaded BBM uh, and yeah you would uh, install it it just takes you to the Play Store so if you wanted to take advantage of any of these Blackberry uh, software you know apps or whatever you can uh, you just have to download them first um, so let's uh, go into the uh, settings here uh, there's wallpaper so you can go in there and of course change your wallpaper which we already did um, pop-up widgets so here's icon packs so basically you can go to the play store it looks like and you end up by uh, getting an option to download a bunch of icon packs and uh, you know pretty much just click on it and install it and so a little bit of customization there um, let's go back to where were we settings uh, this icon pack uh, prompt when turning off apps open source license terms explore back blackberry hub plus apps subscribe so there's not a huge amount of customization here um, so, you know, but one thing I can say is it flows pretty smoothly. As you can see, I'm going from screen to screen. I'll even open, and you can see it opens apps pretty quick. Um, but yeah, it basically leaves the, uh, stock, um, icon pack. So the, the icon packs that's on there now is TouchWiz. Does it change your, uh, drop-down menu? No. It, that's still TouchWiz which most launchers don't uh, don't mess with that um, the other thing is let's check our settings they should be the same you can see the app drawer one thing I don't like is it has a uh, advertisement there so I kinda don't like when they do that I know they have to make money but I don't know it's like right there in your face um, but let's go into the settings and as you can see yeah it, it's the um, 
TouchWiz settings. So most uh, launchers don't mess with any of this stuff. I just point it out because I like uh, you guys to know exactly what you're getting into uh, when you do this. But as you can see, it changes the uh, uh, app drawer to a little more stockish Android look, I guess, kind of. Except that up here you can change over to widgets and shortcuts. So I guess you can put some shortcuts on the screen, uh, which is something interesting. Uh, the widgets, uh, plenty of widgets to choose from. And of course you can always go to the Play Store and download more. Um, so yeah, that uh, it appears to be it. Um, there's no real special uh, swipe gestures or anything that seem to be doing much. Um, but like I said, stay tuned for a BlackBerry Hub uh, video uh, review. And, um, you know, leave a comment down in the comment section whether you guys will use this. Do you like it? Um, or does it just completely suck? Uh, let me know. I like to know your guys' uh, views on this stuff. Also, um, like and subscribe to be among the first to see our new videos and also so that we can continue to make new videos. Um, as I've been saying, we are a small YouTube channel and we very much appreciate the uh, likes and subscribes because it helps us uh, going forward. So we thank you so much. This is Alex with Tech Avenger TV. Alex, out.